This is a simple script that uh, provisions a Docker swarm using Docker machine commands. Uh, is a bash script. Uh, now let me just take you through it quickly. So uh, first of all, uh, I will remove all my existing uh, Docker machines and that is using the Docker machine rm-f command. And uh, I have set some common options. Uh, as you know, Docker machine commands uh, can be customized uh, by specifying uh, some of these common options. Now in my in my case, I'm provisioning the swarm in AWS. So therefore I am uh, uh, specifying some of the AWS specific uh, options, such as the region, the availability zone, the uh, VPC and the security group. Now there is lots of uh, similar options. You can refer to the Docker machine uh, documentation for that. The first uh, step is to create a swarm token server. Uh, now this token server's only job is to uh, provide a swarm token which is then used by all of the members of the swarm to uh, register themselves with the discovery. So that is uh, done by, so all first of all, all Docker machine commands are, uh, you know, they have the Amazon EC2 driver and then I specify the common opts and then I just uh, create a Docker machine which I am naming it as token server. And then what I do is I evaluate the uh, expression uh, Docker machine ENV uh, token server, which essentially connects me to the token server. And then inside that token server, I'm running the command Docker run swarm create. So basically, if we break down this command, it, what we're doing is that we are running the swarm image, which is basically a Docker image, and we are running a container out of it. And to that container, we are giving the command create. So the output of this will be a swarm token and this swarm token uh, will be required later, which is why I'm storing the output of this Docker command in a variable called swarm token, swarm underscore token. Uh, the next thing I do is uh, that basically using that swarm token, I'm going to have to provide common options uh, to every single uh, member of the swarm. And those are dash dash swarm and then dash dash swarm discovery and then token colon slash slash uh, followed by the swarm token that was auto generated above. So I'm just generating a variable called swarm opts. So this is a very simple structure which allows me to reuse these variables without having to uh, copy and paste them or type them again and again. Now all that is left is to create my uh, the members of my swarm which basically in this example I have one manager and two workers. So here I'm creating the manager. Uh, as usual, it is Docker machine create dash D Amazon EC2 and then the common options I specified above and the swarm options. Now, the only thing that uh, distinguishes a swarm master from the uh, workers is the availability of a, a special option called dash dash swarm master. Let me just show you the two commands here. So this is the command to create a worker and this is the command to create a manager. The only difference you see is swarm manager. So there you have it. I have created uh, a swarm manager manager zero, a swarm worker worker zero, and a swarm worker worker one. That's it. So this is a very simple script which sets up a Docker swarm on AWS using Docker machine. And now uh, I have run the script. Uh, I did not have uh, any of these servers set up earlier. Therefore, uh, the command failed silently, which is okay. This is a very quick and dirty kind of script. Uh, and then it basically takes me through, let me just magnify that. It takes me through the creation of each of the uh, servers. So in this case, it's one manager, two workers and a token server. So basically four Docker machines are created. So each of them get created and the same steps get executed for each of them. Uh, you know, some pre-create checks are done and then the Docker machine is created. The instance is created and then uh, it is provisioned with Ubuntu. Um, and then Docker gets installed, some certificate stuff happens, etc. And then uh, and then my token server uh, gets created and uh, you know, the Docker run swarm create output uh, gives me this Docker swarm token which then I'm going to use to create my managers. So here are the managers being created and here are my workers being created. And that's basically it. Look. So at the end of uh, creation of all these Docker machines, the output of uh, Docker machine LS should look like this. Uh, I have some previous 
Docker machines. Let's just ignore that. But uh, all we need to take a look at is the machines created using the EC2 driver. So I have four machines as expected. Uh, one is the uh, worker zero, one worker one, manager zero, and then the token server. Now let's uh, figure out how to run an application on this swarm. The first thing I need to do is uh, I need to connect to manager zero. So let's do docker machine in the dash dash swarm manager zero. And this will tell us the information on how to connect to manager zero. Copy paste that and I'm connected to manager zero. Now I will run the nginx container which basically launches a sample uh, nginx web, uh, web server nginx latest and let me detach that okay so the nginx uh, web server has been launched and that is the container id let us confirm that the container has been launched by running docker ps-a and this gives me information on the nginx container it is right now up and where it is running is it's on run it's running on worker zero and this is the auto generated name for the container so so as you can see the uh, manager has automatically fanned the execution of uh, this uh, this container to the uh, to the worker zero to connect to this we would need to launch the uh, uh, you know we would need to enter the ip address of worker zero followed by port 8080 so 52221 this thing is the ip address of worker zero 